Went into the city today. Uh, my husband had an appointment and I met him there and, you know, ah, oh, speaking of all this pandemic stuff, it's just, it's so great to go to the city. It was like, I got ramen and then I went and I got chocolate. You're just walking, you know, and there's these cutest little stores and then I got coffee. And then you see all these places that are closed. And I was thinking, you know, people are just trying their best and they're trying so, so hard and some people are pushing harder than others to, to, you know, to get their businesses going and to get their lives back in order. And um, I hate to use this word, but, you know, maybe we can, this is not to say that what anybody is going through, because I've lost business myself, but if we can just relax a little. I remember back in March, my husband was going into the city every day for work and I was freaking out because we didn't know enough about what was going on. And now you're in the city and it's so chill. There's like nobody around, but you know, there's a lot of loss. So. I just want to personally dedicate the practice tonight to those people that are struggling and that have lost their livelihoods. And I pray that we can all come together and find some sort of resolution for the people that need this help because it's, you know, I'm so lucky I got to go there and spend a few dollars and enjoy a nice meal and come home to heat and <laughs> Not everybody is that lucky. So close your eyes. Start to breathe that in. The idea of relaxation and attraction. So when we relax and breathe, can we attract more in our lives that is healthy for us? Maybe not everyone is going to be so lucky, but we can send them our good healing feelings. And for ourselves, relax and, and be grateful and content, Santosha, with what we have. So tonight I'm going to um, revisit some stuff from last year that you probably remember. Bob doesn't remember because he didn't come to my class in person because I think I killed him one time. So, but I know Ellen and Frank have done this. Take your right hand and place it right under your bottom. And then take your left arm out to the side. You're going to take your uh, right ear to the right shoulder. So you're pushing your left hand away and you're feeling that stretch down the whole left side. So you should feel a stretch maybe, I'm getting it into, from my fingertips, a little tiny bit of a tingling sensation, all the way up that arm, to the shoulder, into the neck, maybe up to the ear even. Press that hand further away, further, 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 so your whole torso sort of moves with it. And then take that arm straight up to the sky, move your hand underneath your bottom out to the other side. So your right hand should be on the floor with the side, left arm up in the air, stretch up and over. Now the stretch should be in your left waist, hip, press that hip down to the floor, left hip down, left arm straight up. So a whole side stretch, <clears throat> pardon me. 
Both arms up to the sky, big breath. Inhale, interlace, reach way up to the sky. So the pinkies are back and the thumbs are forward. Stomach in. Rib cage, energetically move it back. Obviously you can't move your rib cage back. Keep the sitting bones on the floor. Now switch. Take your left arm underneath your bottom, right arm out to the side, fingertips away. And then you're gonna have your left ear, left shoulder. So you're pressing those fingertips away from the shoulder. And you should feel that stretch again, maybe under that ear, down the neck, shoulder, upper arm, elbow, forearm, maybe a little tingly in the hand. Big breath, inhale, push it away, 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 so you're pulling your torso up. And then that hand straight up to the sky, other hand out to the side. Reach up, 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 the right arm, over, left hand is on the floor. Both arms up to the sky. Inhale, interlace. Reach up, exhale, belly to spine. Come all the way forward, turn the interlace the other way. Reach, 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 reach out in front of you. Hello. Drop your head. Slowly come up, walk the hands back towards the legs and then take hands, interlace behind the back. Pull the chest back, stomach back, belly button back, chin parallel to floor. So basically holding the stomach in. Breathe here, inhales and exhales. and release. All fours just for one breath. Right foot forward, knee down, lunge left side. Now inhale your arms straight out in front of you. So you're using the power of the right thigh, hamstring and quads, muscles, Stomach back, all the way up, inhale, to the right. Left arm forward, right hand back. Back out in front of you. Hands down and take a runner's stretch, a hamstring stretch, half split. Toes to the sky, stretch the whole back of that leg. From here, just move your hands more forward so they're towards that foot. You can even move that foot so it's a little closer to the hands if that's more accessible. And then we're just gonna slide this foot back. All 10 toes curl and sit on the feet. So I don't know if you can see this, we'll turn slightly. So you're sitting right on the curled under feet. It's not comfortable for everyone. From here, if you can, Left foot forward. Slide this right leg back. Arms out in front and then up. Feel the stretch in the front of the left thigh and then take your twist over to the left. Right hand forward, left arm back. Back forward like you're holding a big ball in front of you. Stomach is in. 
And then you're gonna curl your right toes under, slide the left leg back, sit on those curled toes again. We're only doing this once, we're not doing it through class. See if you can get your ankles together. And then bring your hands down to all fours and slap out your feet. Press back, downward facing dog. Pedal through. Let your head relax between your arms. Two more breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Back to all fours. Cat cow, inhale, look up. Open the upper chest. Exhale, close the upper chest, round. Two more like this, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps through again. Knee down lunge, slide the left leg back, arms out like you're holding a ball and then straight up to the sky. So instead of this twist here, we're just gonna take a twist here. So prayer twist or simple twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Slowly come back, arms out in front, and then all fours. Left leg forward, knee down lunge, arms out in front like you're holding a ball. From here, take your twist. Prayer twist or simple twist. Hands frame the front foot, and we're gonna step back to downward dog again. Let's walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Arms out and up. And hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna follow the same idea, but knee off the ground. Exhale, fold. Downward facing dog instead of all fours. Right leg forward, so you could do the knee down if you want, or come with me, hands out like you're holding a ball. This time we're gonna stay here for five breaths. and then find your twist. So it's either the prayer twist or the simple twist. Come back into this holding the ball lunge. And then and a warrior two, right leg is forward, left leg back. The left foot is grounded into the back of the mat. Arms out like a T. And the body is straight up and down. We're not lunging forward, we're straight up and down. Three more breaths, spread those front toes and ground into the outer edge of the left foot. Hands down onto the ball of the back foot 
step back, dog pose. Left foot forward, arms out in front like you're holding a ball. Now see if you could keep your back straight up and down instead of staying leaning forward. Look at your front toes. Make sure they're not scrunching up. Spread those toes. Feel the toes and the ball of the foot on the back foot. Find your twist. Either it's here, prayer twist, or simple twist. And either one is completely fine. You're still getting a twist, right? Maybe you just ate and you want to go for the less invasive on the belly twist. Breathe deep. Back to the holding the ball. Lunge in front for a few more breaths. And then a warrior two from here. Left foot forward, right leg is back. And then from here, frame the front foot, ball of the back foot, downward facing dog. And go ahead and take five breaths, downward facing dog. Two more breaths. And walk to the top of the mat, halfway lift, look forward, all the way up, and to the heart. Close your eyes for a second, maybe revisit our chat at the beginning of class about being content, relaxing after the action. We just did some action, relax it. Let the poses or the asana practice sink in with the breath. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Look forward halfway, dog pose. Right leg forward, all the way up with the ball. Now squeeze the ball. So the hands are really energized. The fingers are really toning forward. Stomach is back. And we're gonna add that other twist, the twisted lunge now. Right arm back, left arm forward. Looking back at the right fingers. Back to ball in front of you. Simple twist, left hand down, right arm up. And warrior two. Two breaths. And variation of side angle, forearm down. Like we did at the beginning of class when we were seated, Take your left arm out like it's a warrior two hand, but have it hover slightly above the hip and then drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Try not to slump into this right forearm. Get that stretch in the left shoulder, maybe down that whole arm into the fingertips and press away on this right side. Back to warrior two. For a beat only, inhale, hands down, dog pose, exhale. Left leg forward, lunge with hands forward. Twisted lunge, looking back towards the back thumb, if your neck's okay with that.
Right hand down, left arm up, simple twist. Maybe slide that right leg back slightly. Look up to the left hand if it feels okay for your neck. Come up, warrior two. Variation of side angle with the forearm down, right arm out like it's still in a warrior two, and left shoulder to left, left ear to left shoulder. Back to warrior two for one breath, inhale. Hands down, downward facing dog, five breaths. You can also take a child's pose if that's calling you. If you're in child's pose, come back into downward facing. Walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. All the way up. Reach, reach, reach. Back to the heart. Now sit back in your chair, Utkatasana. Arms up, tail down, stomach in. Hands to the heart. Take a twist over to the right, left elbow over right thigh. Make sure your knees stay together, that your left knee doesn't jut out in front of the right. So pull that left hip back. Maybe look over your right shoulder. Back to Utkatasana. Over to the left. Knees together, pull the right hip back. Chair pose, one breath only. Inhale, exhale. Inhale halfway. Dog pose or take a vinyasa here. Upward facing dog or a cobra. Downward facing dog. Right leg forward, lunge with hands forward. Twisted lunge. Simple twist. Warrior two. So when you're moving from your simple twist, you can stay with that one hand down to the very last minute and just kind of wind it around, which we're gonna do in a second, I'll show you. Now we're gonna take a, a regular old side angle instead of the variation like this where you're here or your hand can be either on ankle or floor. And we're gonna wind this hand like we're holding that ball here. Wind it back around counterclockwise. We'll do three times. One, look down, follow the hand. Two, and three. Keep it either here or here. So it's like that simple twist, only the hands inside the foot now, right? From here, I'll make it real simple. Hands frame front foot, ball of the back foot, downward facing dog. Left foot forward. We'll call it ball 
lunge, <laughs> imaginary ball lunge, twisted lunge, looking back, left hand, right hand forward. Simple twist, right hand down, left arm up. So here's where I was talking about. You can leave the right hand down, turn the foot, preparing for warrior two, then just lift the right arm up, come in. Now side angle. Either the left arm is here on the leg, the forearm, or hand on ankle or floor for our wind ups. Back first, forward. Now it's clockwise, look back. Look down and back. One more. Down and back. And your choice, you can either bring it forward here or bring it back up here for sort of that revolved simple twist. Hands down, downward facing. Five breaths or child's pose. One is not better than the other. Top of the mat. So we'll wait for you if you were in dog pose, make your way to the front of the mat, come up for a halfway lift, fold forward, arms out, around and up, back to the heart. Okay, again, sit back in your chair, Utkatasana, hands to prayer. Bring your ankles, knees together. Take your twist to the right. Left elbow over thigh or knee. Knees together, bring your left knee back. This time, step your left leg back. Find that prayer twist in a lunge. Now find your twisted lunge. Right arm back, left arm forward. Adding on, drop your right hand down to the left thigh, left arm up. Back to the twisted lunge, back to ball lunge. From here, warrior two. Side angle, your way. So we're not doing any winding the clock again. We're just finding our side angle. Back to warrior two. From warrior two, listen, we're gonna come on to the back foot, find our ball lunge. Then we're going to skip forward and get that twisted prayer lunge and step to our twisted chair. And then chair pose. Chair pose with the prayer twist on the left, bringing right hip back, stepping right leg back. Look down. It makes it much easier to get there. Twisted lunge, looking back, left hand. Take your left hand inside or on the right hamstring, right arm up to the sky, a variation of reverse warrior. Back to your ball lunge, then warrior two. Side angle your way. Mm -hmm. 
Warrior two, one breath only. Now you can go back to the ball lunge like so, or you can come on to the right ball of the foot and come right into your prayer twisted lunge. And then step forward for your twisted prayer chair. Knees together. And then just let it all go, hang down. Bring some space between your feet. Make some room with your belly so you can lay over those thighs. Let your head go down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, either right to dog or take a vinyasa. And then we'll go right into a child's pose. Five nice big breaths. Bring your knees together in your child's pose and take that prayer twist in a child's pose over the right leg. So the left elbow will be over the right thigh for a prayer right here. Squeeze thighs together. Come all the way up like you're doing that ball holding here. Arms all the way up. Take your knees apart. Hands to the lower back. Preparing for a camel. Press the hips forward. Looking up. But hold the neck up right here. Don't let your head go all the way back. Stay like this or curl the toes under and take hold of the right heel with the right hand, left arm up for a variation of that reverse warrior we did while we were in a twi uh, lunge. Both hands forward like you're holding that ball and then your one-armed camel on the other side. Right arm up, left hand holds the heel. And you can do this here too with your hand on your waist. That's completely fine. Both arms up. Uncurl toes. Sit down. Twist on the left. Got to really squeeze those thighs together like you're in the chair pose. Pull the right hip back so the knees stay right next to each other. Pull those inner thighs towards each other. Pull the mula banda, the, the uh, pelvic floor lock. Pull up and in. Back in for that ball all the way up to the sky. Inhale. Curl toes under. Bring a few inches between knees. One-handed camel again. Left hand down, right arm up. Or you can take both hands. Both arms straight up to the sky like you're holding that ball, other side. Left arm up, right hand to the right heel. Pull the heels towards each other. Both hands up, uncurl the toes. And come all the way down. Take your hands right underneath your bottom so your hands are between your heels and your butt. Chin. In, towards chest, stomach in, roll down. Don't look around, just roll, roll, roll. Take hold of the heels if you can. Stay here or pull up. Rabbit pose. Five breaths.
let go, hands forward, come onto your forehead, knees apart, child's pose. Slide your right arm underneath for thread the needle. Right ear and cheek are down. Left arm can stay here or it can wrap behind you. Either way. Press the top of the right shoulder into your mat. We'll linger here. If your left arm is wrapped, bring it back where you started. Unthread and then just switch sides. Left arm underneath now. And unwind that and come to a seated position. Bring your legs out in front of you. Toes curl up to the sky. Arms out like you're holding that ball. Make sure that your both sitting bones are on the floor. Breathe here. Arms come up, inhale, reach way forward, ankles or feet. Inhale, come up, take a twist to the right. Now look at your feet first, bring your right arm back. Make sure your feet stay right next to each other. So one foot's gonna try to go forward. You pull it back and look. So you're pulling the left hip and left foot back. Look into the right. Take that ball up in front of you. Bring your right knee up. Take your left elbow on the outer edge of the right knee. Right hand behind you, twist. And take a counter twist over to the left. Bring your right leg back where it was. Bring your left foot up. Left knee up, that is. Left foot onto the mat. Actually, no, oops. Take your twist. <laughs> Looking back, left hand, pull the right hip back. Right toes back, all 10 toes face sky, stomach in. Now, back to the ball, left leg up, take your twist. Left elbow, excuse me, right elbow, left knee, left hand behind the spine. Push that hand up so you're sitting upright. And then look behind you. Counter twist over to the right. Both feet together, soles of the feet together. Take your knees apart. And we're gonna round down instead of coming forward like we normally do with a straight spine. 
We're gonna just round in, but pull the belly back. Let your head go down. If you can get your head to your feet, hold the feet. Otherwise, stay wherever you are. When you feel that stretch right here in the inner thigh and groin area, as soon as you feel like, okay, that's a good stretch, stop. Don't push, don't bully into the pose. It doesn't make it better, you can injure yourself. Slowly round up, knees together, and come onto your back. Pull the knees into the chest. Take some circles on the back. Now. We're gonna try something. This just came to me. I didn't have a plan at all. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna try that twist on our backs, okay? So really squeeze the thighs together. Stomach really squeezes towards the floor. So you're getting rid of that whole lower back curve. You're really pressing the low back in and that'll bring your knees back towards you, okay? Take your right elbow over left knee and take a prayer twist. Then look at your knees. Make sure your right knee is not coming up to the sky. Pull it down with the left. Really twist. Keep the knees together. Bring your arms out like a T. Keep that face headed towards the left. Knees to the right. If your neck hurts too much, look straight up to the sky. Keep your both shoulders down on the floor. Very carefully, bring your knees back up. Take some circles again, roll that all out. Come to the center and take your twist to the right, left elbow over right thigh. Make sure your left knee stays with the right. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Belly down towards floor, lower back in floor. Arms out like a T, knees to the left. If it's okay for your neck, look to the right. Both shoulders stay on the floor. Come back to the center. Happy baby. And then take your left arm on the floor, left leg hovers out in front. Keep the right leg in a happy baby. Hover the left leg straight out. 10 seconds like this. Keep pulling the right leg down. 
pushing through the left heel towards the front of your mat or back of your mat, whichever way you're facing. Left arm completely relaxes. This is a serious oblique workout. Can you feel it possibly in your hip as well? Back to happy baby for a beat and then relax. Right arm down, but hover right leg. Pull the left foot down, but face the bottom of the foot up. Pull the right toes up to the sky, push through the right heel. Really energize to that right leg. Happy baby. And then take the soles of the feet together, hold them. We can rock here if you want. And then arms and legs out, Shavasana. Start to deepen your breath and bring movement back to your body, however feels comfortable for you. When you feel ready, roll to one side. Rest for a moment on your side. And then bring yourself up to a seat with your eyes closed, hand over heart, hand over hand, or in prayer. And bow your head, please. Close your eyes. How did the rose ever open its heart and give to this world all of its beauty? It felt the encouragement of light against its being. Otherwise, we all remain too frightened. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you next week.